Hello, good evening, Giovanni. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome, Emma. Welcome to our class. Thank you so much for connecting on time. It's 801 and we are going to start our class. Okay. How was your day? What can you tell me about it? It was great. I had some, I did some things, important things for me. Great to hear that. Okay. Uh, I'm glad to hear that, Giovanni. Uh, how was your day, Reina? Welcome. How was your day? Welcome, guys. Okay, in my case, it was very busy because mm -hmm. I had to meeting with my boss and after in the afternoon, I had audit uh, in the company. Uh, for tomorrow, I will be the report about the auditor. You'll do well, I know, you'll do well, be positive, okay? I know when uh, companies have audits, they, you know, <laughs> they, I mean, we as employees and everybody in the company tend to be a little bit tense because uh, we don't know, you know, what they're going to be checking, but be positive, you know, you'll do well, I'm sure about this. Um, let's see, Jeffer, how is it going, Jeffer? Hi, teacher. Mm, I'm fine. Uh, I have been studying during the day. You have been studying? Great. University? Yes, university. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in which year are you? Can you repeat me? Yeah. In which year? Which year are you studying at university? Uh, I am in the fourth year. Oh, okay. Fourth year. That's really good. Um, so you're about to finish like one year more and then you are going to be basically finishing and then only graduation processing and practices if you are going to do them, the professional practices. Well, that's really good. Uh, thank you so much for sharing. Raina is here. Emma is here. Giovanni and Jeffer. So I think Melissa is just joining. Well, guys, thank you so much for doing so. We're going to start our class, and today we have our session number 14. Unbelievable, you know. Uh, we only have two sessions more to go, and this module is going to be over. So basically, um, I really want to remind you about the importance of completing your um, assignments on the platform, okay? We have this week, and being this the last one for us to finish, okay? So please do so. If you have any questions about, about any exercise, please let me know. So I wanna start by asking you that, if you have any specific question that we can go over right now, or are we doing okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So that this tells me that nobody has questions about uh, the platform and, and these exercises. Well, um, well, we're going to continue with this topic, which we started yesterday, guys. And we talked about uh, one conditional. Could you please remind me about it? What was it about? Who remembers anything about yesterday's class? What did we say? Um, any structure about it? See? For example, unreal condition of if close. Mm -hmm. Yes. When we use if clauses, right? Yes, that is correct. And who remembers the structure, Emma? Well, yesterday we were talking about second conditional that it's an imaginary situation. The instruction is using if after if a sentence subject plus verb. Verb, I think it's in past simple past. And 
after that the subject again was cool or, or cool all right very good yes we can use either like would or could or we can also use might it says and um you know these are some of the options that we can use because the model burna is not only would yes and something that i want to highlight at this point is with the if clause you will never use would okay because with the if clause you have to use in this scenario the simple pass okay so would is for the other uh, complement or the second clause um, with this uh, structure, with this condition. So you would not say if if I would, mm -mm, you don't say that, you say, you, you might want to say the past, simple past, and then would in the second clause. Because sometimes we tend to mix this, this up and that's a big problem because the meaning is lost. All right, so thank you so much, guys. We will keep talking about this same um, you know, topic and with other scenarios which I consider are going to help us practice a little bit on these next uh, 55 minutes, okay? So let's see, we get started with the same. Uh, well, I want to make this exercise. I always consider, guys, there's always one reason to be thankful for. I wanted to make this short uh, parenthesis to talk about this. So I would like, I would love to hear everyone, you know, completing this statement. Just go ahead and I need to hear 10, no, I mean, well, 10 ideas, because I'm going to say my, let's see, I'm thankful for um, for being here, connected with you guys and learning with you guys uh, for this class, because uh, as a professional, I think uh, I can, you know, share what I have learned and I can also uh, practice myself, uh, you know, and that's so cool. What about you? What can you tell me in, in general? Complete this statement, please. Jose, yeah. Yeah, I am thankful for my job because lots of people are trying to find one and work and they cannot find. Really good. I like that, you know, uh, you're so, um, let's see, accurate on what you're saying. You know, our life, our conditions, this, uh, dear El Salvador, you know, it's really difficult. And I'm, I'm super, um, you know, happy to hear your, your perception about this and how you see yourself. So thank you for yeah. sharing. Yeah, uh, today at the afternoon, uh, I heard uh, a group of guides talking that they are trying to find a job from about um, more than more than two months and they cannot find a, a job. So we are, and we had, we have a job. So we are, we have many reasons to be thankful with God. Yes, correct. And um, many cases, right? We sometimes might not even notice or realize that our neighbor is struggling with this, right? And we don't take a moment to reflect on what's going on and we might start complaining because it happens, you know, it happens to all of us sometimes. It, it gets to a moment in which we just say, well, this is too much. Or you can simply say, um, not going to continue, it's too demanding or, and so on and so forth. But then we don't see what's around. You know? And that's why I love your idea. I didn't even think about this, you know, thank you so much. I want to hear more opinions, guys. Everyone, please, we all have something to be thankful for, and I want you to share it if possible. I am thankful for my family because they are the most important for me. Thank you so much, Melissa. Yes, I imagine. Right. Having a family nowadays 
is so essential. You see people on the street or maybe laying down on the street or even sleeping on the street, on the sidewalks, and you say, where is their family, right? And there's always a story behind every case. But then, yes, it's another reason. Thank you so much. Go, next one, please. I know this is voluntarily, but if you want to, if you want to express it, guys, do it, please. I want to say that it always changes my mood when I start reflecting on things that I've been blessed with, even though I'm not where I want to be yet. So that's why I tend to transmit, or at least this idea to my students. I know you guys are already adults and, and you got your own you know, way of seeing life and, and perspectives. But then I think from time to time, it's good to reflect on these matters and especially because we have the chance uh, to do it. And that's why I'm doing this, it's just in a very like short parenthesis. In my daily classes, I do this every day with my students, um, especially teenagers. So anybody, maybe one more opinion you want to share? Yes, Jefferson. Uh, I am thankful for help because sometimes we don't think in this, but it's a really blessing. Yes, it's just great because you know sometimes we um we take little things for granted. Emma, did you wanna add something? I wanna say my sense. It's I'm thankful, thankful for having the opportunity to buy many food and things for my dog because there are many dogs without house or food. Exactly. Exactly. You know, it, we all have this one reason which may make us feel happy and we have to enjoy every little moment in life. Like we got to understand this. We have to understand that life uh, experiences in every every minute counts and Gustavo I really feel you Gustavo because you know what when I first got my first car I was like you know I couldn't even like I wanted to be in it you know and I know how it feels having a new car exactly as as something something that you have to be the best feeling yeah I remember you know I when I had to I imported it you know, from abroad, and I couldn't wait like any longer. And I, I remember this feeling like, and now it's different. Now you want something better. You want something like in my case, I need something like a newer or I want to upgrade it. But then, um, and that's that's something that I don't know why we're like these guys. Uh, I remember that when I, when I didn't have a car, I was like, I was okay in public transportation. But then I got one a little bit old. I wanted to have a newer one. And then uh, I think it's just this wrong perception about life. If you don't have anything, you want it. You want it, you want something better. And that's the way we are. And I think it's, we're very like, um, I don't know, competitive, I think. <laughs> but then, yes, Gustavo, I know what it feels like, you know, having these uh, type of things, especially on these beautiful days. I have it, like a lot of insecurity around. So good. Uh, maybe, is there anybody else who would like to share one last idea? No. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you to those who, uh, you know, completed this statement. Guys, let's go back. And then we have uh, this structure. And then, well, this structure is about um, this, the topic we studied yesterday, which is if plus uh, simple past. And then we have this could, would, uh, and might. And we practiced this yesterday, but I just wanted to remind you about the structure never use uh, would, could, or mind with the if clause, never. You just wanna use the simple past if it is this scenario. You don't say if 
I would mm -mm, you say if simple past and then second clause you use any other model verb. It is important to take into account that if in conditional it is usually um, it is usual to see he, she, and it with where. This is very important, guys. So, so you do not say if I if he was. You say if he were. Why is grammatically given like this, right? So maybe you want to. Um, if you already know this, also if you didn't know, just make sure you say where. You don't say was because sometimes we say was. But thinking this is third person, but not in this scenario. Okay, what about if you give me one minute? If you give me one minute, maybe, I mean, if you give me one sentence, I'll give you one minute with this structure. But I want you to think about using he, she, or it in the same scenario, right? Same structure. Think about one example and share it with me, general ideas. I'll give you one minute, I said. Think about it, you can send it to a chat or you can just share it, like open your mic. Let's create examples. Maybe uh, I can share some others on the chat with if plus third person and plus where. Let's see, Melissa, if he were the president, he would improve the education. Yes, that's a good one. Yeah, if um, Melissa were the president, she would improve the uh, education system in our dear El Salvador. Okay, we have one example. I want to give you some more time and think about other. What about if you give me one with it, like indicating a condition or any uh, situation with it? Um, I was thinking about it maybe if, if it, what, was sunny? <laughs> I don't know if it was sunny. Uh, it would be a great day or a good day, good good day to go to the beach. So I think <laughs> to to go to the beach. You can say I mean different ideas, right? But then give me your ideas. Uh, if it was sunny, it would be a good day to go to the beach. Yes, if we follow the the, the formula. And then, but then there's a mistake I said, right? So what's the mistake in this? That's uh, sometimes we, we tend to, uh, let's see, if, Pass. exactly, if it, where, this is what we have to say. So um, give me more examples, think about any other, right? Any other example with third person, right? Giovanni, what if, do you have? If she were careful, she wouldn't, wouldn't lose the keys. Exactly. Sounds like a real one, right? Sometimes if he, if he or she were like this, then it wouldn't happen that. Let's see, Gustavo, if, if he were hardworking, he could, ha could have his uh, present tense on after, after the, the auxiliary, after the moral code, you would say have in present a better job. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, that's something for real too, right? Something for not being not that maybe um, not disciplined or being kind of lazy, you or we tend to miss good job opportunities. One more case on these uh, exercises. 
with third person, with where? Jefferson, what do you have? Chair, sure, I have a question. In the sentence said that we use where with the third person uh, instead of was, but I was studying uh, after in a book that with in the first person to we use where. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. In the first person in, in singular, like I, yes. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you use it, you use that. That's why we say, uh -huh. In all case, we use where. That's, then, a, that's, mm, a, that's, okay. a, that's a really good question. That's why we say, if I were you, right? That's, if I were you is a very common uh, statement that we use. If I were you, I would do this. For example, uh, if I were you, I would, I don't know, uh, apply for that job. Or if I were you, I wouldn't take that seriously. If I were you, I, I, I wouldn't blah, blah. Basically, that's a very common phrase. And thank you so much because I hadn't thought about it. And yes, we use where. Sure. In, Sorry, mm -hmm. sir. Uh, with it, uh, we use to where. Mm -hmm. It's third person, we use where. And um, let me be sincere with you because I remember that when I was uh, even, you know, speaking to American people, they sometimes tend to use was. And they know, they know is where, but then in formal English, they use was, but then grammatically speaking, it should not be was, it must be where. Like uh, maybe you hear this on song, they use was, and even you can see things like don't instead of doesn't, but then it's informal and the message is still, still you know, convey or transmitted, but then grammatically speaking, it's not correct. Let's see, Giovanni has another one. If he were skilled, he would be in a better team, right? Maybe talking about abilities, right? Somebody who's skill, skillful. All right, so we have these ideas, guys, and we need to move on. I have some other questions that I want you to help me, you know, practice, that's the point. And uh, some punctuation things we need to consider. And maybe you want to write down some ideas. First one, the use, the use of the comma is mandatory if the if clause is at the beginning, okay? For example, if I were in France, comma, I will be see the Eiffel Tower. So if the if clause is in the beginning, comma is mandatory in the middle. Maybe you want to write it down or try to remember it or, you know, in case you didn't know about it. Because when you are speaking, you're not thinking there's a comma, but then, but then when you are writing, then you should write this comma because it makes, uh, you know, makes sense. It makes, uh, you know, the difference from like in writing because the meaning requires this comma. And when it's the opposite, for example, and then we don't need it because if it's playing the role, like uh, making this necessary pause in the, in the middle of the same thing, like if I, I would visit, I'm sorry, I would visit the Eiffel Tower if I were in France. Basically, if we have the opposite or the other way around, we switch the sentence and then comma is not needed. This is one uh, punctuation point that is necessary to be highlighted, not, not only applied for for a second condition, but also for the other condition, same same thing. Okay. Any other, any questions on this? Maybe you want to write the ideas down. I will, I'll give you two minutes for this, or maybe create one sentence on your own and apply this punctuation so you can remember about it. I'll give you two minutes.
All right, so let's move on. Uh, if you would like to ask any question, are we fine as of now? No questions? Is it clear on punctuation? Okay, this silence tells me we are. Hopefully I'm not mistaken. Let's move on. Um, well, let's see. Uh, some other examples here. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They will be happy if they won the lottery. And if he were president, he might reduce taxes. You know, these are three more examples. Simple past plus modal verbs and base form of the verb. And then we have would and then second clause if, which is uh, that condition with simple past. Three more examples. Just pay attention to how they make this, this these examples because in a minute you're going to be helping with some other examples. We move on and let's see. Let's practice here. I want you to practice in pairs. Please take some time, take two minutes or more, maybe or three minutes. I want you to write your, ex your answer for this and explain. Don't just give me a simple and short answer. Try to expand on your answer. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? And explain to me why you would do such thing. Teacher. Yes. What is burglar? It's a person, it's, a, it's someone who gets in, like breaks into your home to steal, you know, your belongings. That's a burglar. It's a synonym of, of thief. Somebody who steals things, you know. Here in Salvador, it's very common, and not only at home, but also in, you know, in, in the streets. Burglar, thief. All right, so take one minute, think about it, expand on your answer as much as you can. I will listen to everyone. All right, so I can see we have some answers here, uh, which is, oh, Moses says, if I were an engineer, I would automate all my time. Yeah, so we don't complicate life, right? Use technology. Exactly. And let me tell you a, a personal experience, Jose. You know, last year, yeah, 2020, 2021, yeah, I was working with, um, different like I was working with a school uh, I was working with uh, a program um, and then I was working with some other programs on weekends so I had like maybe 300 students or more and then uh, I was really like uh, exhausted but then I started thinking how can I make one uh, tool which facilitate everything. And the answer was, well, I have to use the technology and I created my tests and then I will have all my students to take them online. And these two will report me all the grading automatically. You know, that was, you know, so um, let's see, I don't know, how can I say that? That was so cool, so, um nice that I didn't have to go over manually so this is what you're saying this is really cool and yeah right 
maybe um, sometimes we complicate our life because we want. And I heard this, it's not, I mean, people at the end don't care about how you get, how you do things, they wanna see results. And maybe it's not working hard, it's working smart. And that's what we have to say. Uh, so can you read your example about, about the burglar? I think you have written it there. Can you read it for us, please? Uh, if I saw a burglar into my house, I would call the police. And why would you do that? And you will not do anything if you see that this person is getting your uh, smart TV, which was hard to get it. You had to work and you have to save money and this person is getting and, and if he escapes. <laughs> Look yeah, at the end. Yeah. Uh -huh. I never you're into my house, but mm. it's because it has to be a little shock. Right. First, you need to check around how bigger uh, is the the burglar. <laughs> if you you know you can beat him. If you know. some somebody <laughs> smaller, sure. uh, well, we can do the. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey. Do you think, guys, it's... We it's can do not, something, but if right. something bigger, better call the police. <laughs> right. You see a big gorilla right there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what? I don't think uh, maybe you have heard and seen on the news these cases in which because they didn't want to give uh, their phones to these people, they get shot and they, they get killed. There are some stories in which uh, they... I mean, especially at the public transportation, they start like maybe stealing stuff, gangsters, right? And then people who, I don't know, maybe uh, go against this and they, don't, they refuse to, to hand in their belongings, which is understandable. They get killed or they get injured by, you know, the, the, the thief. That's very common. And I don't know, I've never been into that situation, but how difficult it can be. Maybe you know how much you have worked for you to buy one thing and then all of a sudden someone just comes in and gets it and leaves. I don't know, have you ever been into these experiences guys that you might have, that you have been stolen or on a, or in, in, any, in any case or in, or in any place or nobody has ever experienced this? Tell us, please. I want you to speak English with me, with the class. Tell us about a story that you might have had and that you can share. That'll be cool. Anybody? Okay. No, you're lucky. My, my uh -huh. cell phone was stolen when I was in the bus. You? But okay. I didn't realize when they took it. So it, there, was, there wasn't a matter. <laughs> so when the I want to see the. I wanted to see the time. Uh, I I had to ask first my cell phone, and the cell phone uh, has disappeared. <laughs> cell phone was already off. <laughs> it had been taken. Yeah, and I imagine right uh, how sad this it is. Like when you. You don't see your belongings and you say, wow, and only myself know how much you know, or how difficult it was to you know, save the money. So, and what about maybe money or any other thing, guys, anybody else? Or maybe you have heard about this experience, somebody else like close friends or relatives have had. No, you haven't heard any of these stories. You're lucky. Giovanni says, if I saw a burglar in my home, I will call the police. But if I have a gun, you see, that's, the, that, that's another thing. If you have a gun, what will you do? <laughs> I, think, I think it's not worth it. Like, I think it doesn't, I don't know. I think 
it's easy to commit a big mistake, right? Just imagine uh, you you shoot at someone and you might even go to jail. Man, that's really... Sometimes when I'm driving, I, I see these accidents and people who are really care, uh, they, don't, they don't really care. They just cross the street. Even there's a, a, you know, a bridge, I don't know, a foot bridge, I think the name is. They don't use them and then they can be run over it. And you know, if you do that, then you are the criminal. They take you to, you know, that's really, I think in life we have to be really, we have to be very careful. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I see we have um, another one. If I saw a burglar in my house, I would be scared and scream while I call the police, okay. Mm -hmm. And if I saw a burglar, I would call the police, but I could also try to attack him. Uh, you will say, uh, you will uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, you would attack your, I mean, the, the person or this burglar with your dog. Okay, so you have a big one, Jeffer, a big dog. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, okay. This is a big one. A big one. Uh, what do you call a, a, a pit bull? <laughs> Okay. It's a boxer teacher. Ah, okay. I I don't know much about dogs, but I imagine. Well, uh, this is one question. Let's move on. I have some other things for you to practice English. Uh, let's see. How about this one? And this time, I want you to, um, if I travel back in time, I could spend more time with my father. That's a good one. Yes, that's a really good one. Uh, in a in a really sad one. Sad one too. Let's take let's take a look at this. Let's vote. I want you to create one statement, and we're gonna see uh, who is more the most creative in this class. Okay. Um. So what the uh, what would you do if you were giving guys? Let's put it into. Let me ask you the question. What would you do if you are um if you were let's say if you were given like superpowers? Let's Let's um, focus on the second one because it's, what would you do if you were given superpowers and you were in charge of maybe the world? What would you do? Any superpower that you, um, I don't know, I just got you this picture, but then uh, think about any superpower and how you can use it to protect or save the world. So give me your answer. Now I want you to send it to a chat. I will give you three minutes, the most, and think about. Uh, sorry, teacher, I have a question. And what do you mean of put in charge of the world? Like when you are put in charge, it means that you are responsible for, you're responsible for something. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So think about one answer, like, it's time for us to be creative and and tell what will you do and how uh, you will use your superpowers give you three minutes because we are going to vote and to see which is the best one this time so start writing on the chat Okay, so I changed the questions. 
right? To the like, what would you do? Because there was there, there was a a problem with the structure. Okay, so two more minutes, and then I will see your ideas. Any superpower or all any 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 any, any superpower, but to make uh, something good for the world or particular, whatever. Uh, whatever, yes, I wanna say whatever, yeah, whatever, and think about any superpower and whatever. This is up to you, and then um, see, you name it. That's you need to see, you need to mention your your superpower. What is it? There were uh, maybe two superpower. If 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 I choose for me, maybe fly. It's a superpower mm -hmm. that I could be good. Mm -hmm. But if uh, if I who had a superpower for make good for a lot of people, maybe to make uh, air fertile. That's correct. Hey, what what do you say? Make air fertile. So the uh, the plants and, and trees could could grow better and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's the. I think I think I guess like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you're talking about plants, you said right? Plants or trees. Uh -huh. I think I know. I know the one you're trying to say. I don't know if I'm just trying to fer fertile, like when something Fertil? is. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, fer fertile, yeah, fertile. Oh, somebody said in it, yes, fertile. It's fertile, it's fertile, right? Actually, like fertile, yes, correct. Uh -huh. And explain to me, you know, a little bit more. How come this one? What oh, would you uh -huh. touch the, the, the ground or, or the earth? I don't know what case can I use? And um, girls, <laughs> okay. But but in, in this case, uh, if I go to a land with plants, plants, I don't know, corn, corn plants, and have the power to to give more, to be more producer, or make more produce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more like productivity, right? To produce more, okay, crops. Okay, I see, I see your point. Me a favor then. What about if you send me one statement uh, on the chat? Cause I want to see you. Okay. Jeffer, read your one, please read it. I can see it, Jeffer. Send, like read it for us. Um. My sentence. Correct. Correct. Uh, if I had superpowers, I would try to eradicate the inequality and insecurity. Mm -hmm. I think I was, you made it general, but sounds really cool. Uh, eradicate the inequality and insecurity, right? Interesting. Maybe poverty, right? Too. <laughs> okay, sounds really cool. What about the other ones, guys? I wanna see more statements on the chat. Come on, take some time. I will give you one more minute and send me your ideas on the chat, please. And if you wanna read them, go ahead and read them too.
Teacher, how do you pronounce eradicate? Uh -huh. Like you said, eradicate, eradicate, eradicate. Oh. Let the last sound is eight. So you say eradicate, eradi er eradicate, eradicate. Like uh, that means eliminate, right? Or but the R is like R or R, errat. Eradicate. Er eradicate, eradi, eradicate. What do you hear? Era, eradicate, eradicate. You can say D or ricate because that R, that esa D se puede como R, I mean eradicate. Eradicate or eradicate. Both are okay. I would eradicate it. Well, mm -hmm. Emma says, if I had a superpower, I would see the future. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Now, I would just, I don't know, make my own money <laughs> and be, you know, millionaire or like billionaire. If I had superpowers, I would have the superpower to make the earth fertile. fertile. For all plants and trees, good perspective. Uh, I would love to be invisible, you know. <laughs> if I had superpowers, I would I would save no past. I would save um good people in the in the bad people. Uh huh. From the bad people. From I would save good people like uh, from the bad people. I right? would be like um uh, rescuing people. Right, protecting people. All right uh let's see good so it's, it's time for us to vote let's see Jeffrey. Yeah, which one do you like the most send me uh you can see the, the names on the chat send me the ones you like the most one maybe you say well i think uh, daniel is the best one for me Emma, tell me maybe you send me on the on the chat your vote everyone's read the ones we already have on the chat and try to vote please i want to see who received more votes Read them and give me who you support. Teacher in general chat, in general chat or in direct chat? General chat, general okay. chat. Or do you think it's better if you do it like privately? <laughs> oh, you send it already, no. If you haven't sent it, send it to me privately. Okay, I'll give you one minute. Read the ones we have there and then I'll tell you who won. Privately, I will I'll be attentive here. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat what did you say, please? Because I didn't hear you very well. It's time for us to vote. Send me a private message and read the options we have on chat and tell me which one do you support? Which which one do you like the most and, and who do you vote for? We have Giovanni, Daniel, Gustavo. I think you uh, also said something, Emma and Jeffer. So, which one do you like the most? In? Uh -huh. oh, Jose, it, Jose has. Daddy, I will send you. Hey, I, I hadn't read Jose's one. Wow, let me see this one. I just saw it. Uh, if I were in charge of the world, I would do everyone read the Bible. Hey, you know what? Just today, Jose, I bought my Bible in English. I, was, I think I don't have it nearby. I, and I bought it. I was super happy because I had the chance to, you know, to buy my Bible in English. And it's not the same if you have it on the phone. It's okay if you have it printed. It's a really good one. If I travel back in China, this is something that we already did. Okay, so send me your messages, please. We don't have much time. I still, I still have two more things to, to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, people are voting. Uh -huh. keep, keep sending me your messages. Which one do you like the most? Uh 
Hmm. Keep sending me your message. I have received some messages, but then there are more. There are more people who can vote. At, at least I live in. It's interesting. You have no idea, but I'm, that's really good. Thank you so much to those who already voted. Let me see. Uh, if I had superpower, I would like the power of persuasion to prevent more wars. Uh-huh, it makes sense. Well, let me stop right here. Uh, Giovanni, let me tell you that you you won. You won this uh, competition. So congratulations. And actually, your statement is really cool. I hadn't read it, but it's really cool. Stopping wars, right? That's a good one. I hadn't seen it. You have, you were the only one who received both. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you were the only one. <laughs> and the rest nobody bought it <laughs> okay good thank you so much guys for doing so now um i have one more and th this one was this is going to be for tomorrow think about if you were the president of el salvador what would you do try to try to make it like a statement and, and give me you know like not only a simple sentence try to prepare maybe uh, 30 seconds talk, okay? And then tomorrow you start talking and tell me what will you do, but you explain, uh, you know, your ideas, okay? So tomorrow we're gonna do that because like now, I'm gonna start with that activity. Remember this, because I have another question that I want to discuss with you. So tomorrow, if you were the president of a Sabbath, what would you do? Remember that. And now let's talk about this other one, which I like. I have two more things. This one about personality. Look at this one. If you saw that the person sitting next to you had a gun and, you know, in what is this, in their belt, what will you do? Open your mic and because his time is almost over. What will you do? Be honest. I wouldn't feel anything. I don't know. But what's your case? Look at the picture. Maybe that is not <laughs> in the same as in the statement, but it gives give us an idea. Anybody, one opinion. In that case, uh -huh. maybe nothing. Yeah, you're like me. I wouldn't do anything too. It wouldn't if scare me. Some person had a gun. Uh -huh. And if I haven't, uh -huh. <laughs> I can do some any. Right, yeah, but maybe some other people will start screaming and blah, and yeah, getting nervous. Some people get getting nervous, maybe. right? Exactly, I had experience uh, so <laughs> too much years ago, around 12 years ago, and a person next to me, I, I wasn't in a car, stopped next to me and put the the gun in 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 the door and asked me for my cell phone and money and I just give and, and I you, can't you do just, anything more. You just gave okay, it okay okay take right. it take it yeah at the end you know what really uh, matters right what is maybe a phone you can make it. You know, again, but then your life, <laughs> right? Uh, Melissa says, I will pass out, pass out. You will faint. Okay. You see different reactions. And what about this one? I like this question. What will you do if your uh, friend wanted to marry someone you didn't or you did not trust? Would you say anything to him or her? Or even worse, what would you do if you if you um, saw your best friend's fiance or uh, girlfriend or boyfriend cheating on him or her? What would you do? Would you tell him, or would would you just keep it for you? Tell me your ideas. One minute. When I want, I have one more. Uh -huh, Emma. I say to my friend that I don't believe in that person because I know that if I know that 
she or he it's about person i have to let her know about it and if my friend doesn't want to believe me it's her problem because i want to be a good person with her and i want a, always the best for my friends good one i like it of course right and uh, we want uh, the best thing for our loved ones we are going to finish with this one please finish this uh, statement guys number one complete the idea if i didn't have uh, this class now what tell me what's your compliment what's your idea if i didn't have this class now give me your opinions please If I didn't have this class now, I would I would be watching any movie or series in Netflix. You have my answer exactly. I was uh, I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah, I would be watching series on anywhere. <laughs> okay, if you drank three cups of coffee, I think uh, so. Melissa said I could watch. TV or TikTok, okay? So last one, we finished with this one. If you drank three cups of coffee, what If happened? I didn't have this class now, I will be play, I will be play video games in this moment. Okay, cool. I like that one. <laughs> I like it. Uh, anybody else, one more idea before we finish this session? If I didn't have class right now, I would. Uh, you wouldn't. I wouldn't what? <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't be here. <laughs> okay, so good. Tomorrow we're going to start with uh, the question I ask you to write about. If you were the president of El Salvador, what would you do? And please think about it and stay like maybe one paragraph for you to um, talk for 30 seconds. And guys, if you have no more questions, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye, take care.